happy 2018. Today happy is year. Tuesday, January the 2nd. Um, it is really the first work day of 2018, so we're ready to kind of grab it by its goods and be good with it. Uh, we thought we would talk to you today about goals, since so many people have New Year's resolutions that they try to put in place and then fall off the wagon a day or two later. So we thought we would talk about goals. Yeah. Um, yeah, so starting off the year right, you know, you need to decide what your goals are, which we'll get into in a little more detail. And then you've got to create the momentum to keep it going. And the most important thing that we've also found with each other is... Don't go at it alone. Yeah. Accountability. Yeah. Have a absolutely. partner. A partner in crime. <laughs> <laughs> um, so once you make the decision on what it is that you want to do, understand that saying that and writing it, because people who write their goals actually um, tend to do much better with them than people who just kind of say them. Um, but once you make your mind up on it, it's kind of cool because the world kind of conspires to make it happen. Um, so you want to set SMART goals. You want to be specific. They want to be mm -hmm. measurable. You want to um, be able to achieve them. Like, how are you going to do that? You want to be realistic with results. And you want to put a time frame on them. So think about those things. Mm -hmm. When you're writing your goals, um, you know, some people actually like to write them down on index cards or just where you always have them in front of you. If you need to tape them up on your bathroom, bathroom mirror, then do that. Something to keep reminding you every day and then it kind of you're reading them back to yourself every day and helping to affirm it. Right. Um, so we think that what we should do is start with small term, short term things. If we can do it one day and then do it the next day, you know, mm -hmm. so we're going to break ours down into 10 day goals right now. And we're going to break those down into five different categories. Mm -hmm. Categories that, um, so we can break them down and have it to be specific, are spiritual, business, family, financial, and personal. So it's really important. That's, that's a way to break it down and look at those different areas of your life. And to really be specific with your goals. Because the more specific they are, the easier they are to attain. Um, so stay positive with your momentum. Work on it. Do it every day. If you can check that off every day, that's going to keep your momentum going. It's going to keep you positive. And just remember, as you are working throughout this year, it's all about those small steps. Those mm -hmm. small steps have a huge compound effect. Every day when you wake up, what can I do today? What small step can I do today to make a difference towards getting me to my goal? So if your goal is financial, financially related and you are trying to get yourself out of debt or, you know, um, build a, a, a higher nest egg. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, what can you do today? Can you buy one less latte? Can you go grocery shopping instead of buying eating food out? Because I know when we do that as a family of four, we're easily looking at yes. almost $100. Yeah. Which is like a food bill for a week. Yeah. <laughs> so work on those things. Don't go out alone. Focus on your goals. Keep your momentum going. And really stay positive. Um, you can do it. If you need help, give us a call. Hey, how about we check back with them? We'll do another video. Oh, in, great idea. Like maybe after the first quarter. We'll see how you are. Yep. So write down your goals, share them with us if you want to, and we'll check back yep. in with you. All right, have All a right. good one. Bye. Bye.